Hello, Hussein. Hi. Um, today you've got a draw with Ivanka Uska. It's quite a tough game. Tell yeah. us something about it. Quite long game, unfortunately. Um, um, you know, my strategy was, um, as I told my colleagues in the team, that I will be the most boring player in the whole team. I'll just play boring chess, solid, and uh, I will leave, you know, the victories for the others. <laughs> right. So I, I, will, I was trying to play, you know, all the walls, like Berlin Wall, China Wall, whatever wall I yeah, play. Spain Wall, all those walls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, today I thought, okay, it's time to, you know, score some points. And um, I spend uh, my whole evening and this morning, you know, preparing... Uh, for uh, Ivanka, uh, some Queen Gambits and uh, the London system, but uh, unfortunately, um, nothing of that happened. And uh, she surprised me by, with the first move. Right. So all the preparations <laughs> goes out of the window. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, it, yeah. It happens in chess. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the game. Sure. Okay, Hussein, your opponent surprised you with her first move. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about it. Um, I used to play um, bishop g4 systems against uh, this line, the Reti, but uh, recently I saw an interesting idea. It was played by a few good players, uh, which I used in this game. I thought, okay, let's give it a try. Uh, 97, basically the idea, I just want to get uh, my solid set up as always, knight to b6, bishop to f5, after d4. Okay. And that's, uh, of course, I want to play e5 here. If uh, white plays go bishop g2, it will be a different type of position after e5. And uh, Ivanka chose to go d4. d4 yeah. So after d4, I got my, um, my setup, which starts with knight b6. And uh, yeah, now the bishop is coming to f5 and the pawn to e6, c6, and uh, yeah, black will. Black is having very you know easy game, I guess, mm -hmm. from as I see it, and um, I quite like this idea for black. But and then it showed, uh, yeah, yeah, and the game. I mean, she wasn't sure what to do, and I got very decent position out of the opening. Here after a4, always a5, and uh, this knight on b6 is really annoying, it's stopping a lot of. You know, why it's, um, you know, breaks in the center. So mm -hmm. he's not so stupid on b6 so far. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very unusual position. Isn't yeah. It? That's what I want. I like about this idea that it's kind of new, mm -hmm. you know, set up and um, it has some interesting ideas. So I was happy to play this today. And then Ivanka played. B3? Yeah, B3. I thought she's planning to, you know, put the bishop on A3 mm -hmm. to make E6 mm -hmm. difficult because I want to play put bishop on a 5 and I was like, uh, okay, the bishop is coming to A3 and <laughs> it's, it's not easy to make like E6 this. anymore. Yeah. So yeah. I had to give it a thought, but she changed her mind after bishop of 5. She, she didn't play bishop A3 anyway. She decided to put the bishop on B2, I guess. Yeah, yeah. but not yet. So I don't. She played this move first. Yeah, yeah. here are just the standard moves. Yeah. She chose to... Yep. To fianca to all the bishops. And then there's an h6 move. Yeah, yeah h6 is very important to... Um, get the bishop back. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Knight f6. Castles. So bishop b7. b7. Knight e5. Five. Yeah. Castles. Castle. Oh, and then knight yeah, and here it's quite to difficult what to do for white against this uh, solid setup. I mean, um, c4 I will not react. And e4 very hard to realize. And black have some ideas. Black uh, have some ideas. C6, knight comes back to d7, and then maybe b5. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for me, it's easy to play. But white has to find uh, a good plan, especially after a4, a5. Whenever you push c4, the square becomes so weak. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. So it's, it's, it's not easy. White is hesitating, and mm -hmm. uh, where to go? To go e4, to go c4? Um, not so easy to say, yeah. Okay. So, uh, would you C1, like to I was just, uh, yeah. C6. C6, and uh, I got my setup, finally. And, uh, yeah, she spent, uh, she burned a lot of time thinking what to do here, but in the end she went C4. And now here I spent some time um, 
to find something original. And uh, I think I c came out with an interesting idea, <laughs> to be a, yeah. Very weird move, of course, uh, but uh, it has a small idea that I want to remind White about uh, this square. This is the, the price of A4, A5 in the beginning. Now yes. you play C4. Okay, I, I will try to use that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, White is uh, not so easy to do for White. It's yeah, very the knight strange. is coming in a few moves, but uh, uh, hard to say what White can do. Okay, so she tried knight f4. Four. And the knight, uh, continue. On its journey his to b4. journey to b4. Okay, f3, Three. she's trying to get e4 yeah, in, yeah. I guess. Knight b4, b4, and then she gets this e4 and break. I was actually very happy that she was overextending here because... Uh, uh, I think this uh, center is a liability here for white, rather than, you know, um, uh, going for it. I mean, after a simple move, bishop h7, just not react. Uh, I have some useful moves coming up, and uh, again, you played f3, and you blocked your own bishop, and uh, all my pieces are happy pieces. Huh? I don't have bad pieces so far, so... <laughs> And here I found a quite interesting idea, rook e8 with bishop f8. My plan is to prepare c5 at some point. If white doesn't do anything, I have a plan, like yeah. rook c8 and c5, like prepare a, the break, and once I uh, do my own break, it will be tough for white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here he ch she decided to change this uh, knight. Let's change the knight. But cool. now... Yes, you get rid of the knight, but another piece comes to b4. <laughs> okay, yeah. And now the pressure is again uh, on e4. Yeah, you're reminding her about yeah, a4, aren't yeah. you? The fact that she played a4. True. Yeah. Okay. So easy for black. Rook fd1. And here was, I think, the critical moment in the middle game where I burned all my time calculating uh, e5. Quite interesting move. Okay. Uh, very sharp and... Uh, yeah, I had to really assess this move carefully because if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yes. So um, the basic idea was if white takes the pawn, my idea was simply to take here, intermediate move. Of course, if you trade, uh, I guess it's over because uh, simply I'm attacking the knight on d2 and uh, it's tough for white, so you need to move the queen somewhere. But... Uh, I thought I would simply take, and if the knight takes, I'll just move the queen. And uh, the pawn on e5 is quite weak. That's what I thought. Yeah. But um, then I started to uh, think again. Can we go back? To this, to here? Yes. Um, after e5, she can start with cd5. Right. CD5 and now take, which is more logic, yeah. uh, okay. more logical. And now, of course, again Queen E2. And now it's quite uh, suddenly got, not the same, you know. <laughs> suddenly got quite all exciting. white pieces are working, and all the rooks, yes. yeah. all the rooks are in the game. So yeah, um, yeah I had to reject this line and. Uh, but it took me so much time to calculate this line. Yeah. And then in the end, I said, okay, I said, okay, let's go slow. <laughs> you know? It's too exciting. Uh, play yeah. for the squares. It's too and, exciting. Uh, yeah. yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. Calm down. Uh, calm down. Calm down. Calm. Yeah. All the pieces are great. And uh, let's see what she will do yeah. in the next move. Yeah. Because I, I have still my ideas to bring the rooks to d8 and take on e4 at some point. Yeah. So um, queen e3. And here I think I find, uh, found a quite interesting idea. Not sure how much is interesting, but uh, takes. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, if she takes by the pawn, I have uh, uh -huh. always this e5 break. Because if you take knight g4, it's uh, positionally knight over. Yes. You have to push d5, and then I will play on the dark squares. You know, the knight will, will come yes. to c5. It's Obviously. quite pleasant for black, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Uh, not much, but it's, got some it's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. So, um, can we so we on? go back to After queen, queen, seven. Seven. Uh, queen Sorry, it was down yeah, here. Queen three. Takes she took by knight, and yes. here 
I think I didn't make the right decision. I'm not sure. I, I took with the bishop, but maybe, again, rook d8 maybe was a um, right. more patient move just to bring all the guys and, um, yeah. Well, I, I found, uh, I thought this position after takes e5, I thought I have good chances, you know, to, um, to play against this bad bishop on g2, but uh, turn out that white has some counterplay. After d5, yeah. this happened in the game. Uh, and you got your yeah, queen. I asked the queen question. Queen to F3. runs away. Bishop a3. Bishop a3. Okay. Yeah, I thought, uh, okay, to make this plan work, I mean, bishop e4, uh, to justify it, I need to trade the bishops, but uh, it turned out it's not a great idea. <laughs> Otherwise, it will be a, a positional masterpiece. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, it Sorry. Didn't, quite, didn't work because of uh, C5. C5 here. Yeah. Okay. Cuts across uh, your plan. Yeah. Um, and I had some issues in my calculation here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I thought that, uh, as, it, as it happened in the game, takes, takes, E4, queen C3. Yeah, I, I, I just uh, totally missed bishop h3. How? I have no clue. I just I played rook c8, I saw bishop h3, and here already I am in big trouble. Yeah, yeah in big trouble. Somehow, by miracle, I managed to not, not to lose immediately and uh, to yeah. escape to a very yeah Should unpleasant endgame. Yeah, very unpleasant endgame. Yeah, you can just um, jump down, here, jump so. anywhere in the middle game and the uh, end game. Yeah, it was, it was very tough end game without time. You know, mm -hmm. it's uh, hard to protect. But uh, yeah, somehow I managed to save the day. <laughs> well done. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't think about you know <laughs> scoring points. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's let's uh, continue to play boring chess and then yeah. I will see. Okay. When, when the right time will come, it will come and see you. Thank you for your yeah. boring game. Yeah, thank you, thank so you very much. <laughs>